Uh, good morning, everyone. And first of all, thank you very much, um, Nicholas, to you and the Capital Link team uh, for inviting me here to, today to say a few words. Uh, wearing my Singapore Shipping Association hat, I must say uh, this is a, a great turnout, including many friends from overseas and locally who've come to join our Maritime Week. I think many of you may not be aware that uh, the idea of a Maritime Week started here in Singapore in 2006. And um, it's noteworthy, I think, now that um, maritime centers all around the world are doing maritime weeks. So as the saying goes, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. But in a wider sense, convening a, minor, a maritime week is a way of showcasing our industry to the wider public and to raise awareness of the very significant but often unrecognized contribution that we contribute to world trade, which I would strongly argue has brought benefits to millions of people over the years. This is the second Capital Link conference to be held in Singapore, and the turnout today, I think, once again, is a testimony to the high regard in which these events are held, and not least uh, looking at the huge array of sponsors and supporters. I think it shows uh, the great support this event has. Part of it, of course, we must thank the MPA for the cluster fund funding, which probably makes some contribution to the, to the turnout. But the program today covers most, if not all, of the so-called hot topics confronting us and kicks off with an interview by Nicholas and Terence of the formidable Tan Beng Ti, uh, Assistant Chief Executive of the MPA and often referred to correctly, in my opinion, as the First Lady of Maritime Singapore. Many in this audience know Beng Ti, whose tremendous contributions to Maritime Singapore for the last 15 or more years or more um, is there for all to see and hearing her views of the vision of Singapore as a top IMC going forward will, I think, be one of the highlights of this conference. The other highlight is, of course, the one-on-one -on -one discussion with Mr. George Procopio. I understand this will be by video link, uh, the chairman of Dynacom Group, and often described by many as one of the titans of Greek, in fact, of global shipping, never one to be shy about expressing his views. The other sessions in this conference comprise, comprises the, issues, the issue before us, the low sulfur cap coming into effect in January 2020, digitization, innovation, the main market's perspective from owners and charterers, finance uh, for the industry, regional growth opportunities, and the much talked about Greater Bay Area incorporating the Guangdong province, Hong Kong, Suhai, and Macau. And then finally, the hot topic of industry consolidation. Our industry is challenged as never before on the regulatory fronts. Uh, low sulfur cap I've already mentioned um, is rapidly approaching. The implementation of the Ballast Water Convention is a reality. And the biggest challenge of all looking further ahead is meeting our commitments that we have made as an industry in the development of what is referred to as the Paris Agreement for Shipping at the IMO in April last year, namely the reduction over time of the industry's CO2 emissions to zero. And when combined with the commercial realities we face, be it a mixed economic growth picture, especially in the EU, tonnage over capacity in some segments, the threat of a trade war, even if this is seemingly receding, and the rapidly changing landscape brought about by innovation and digitization and the potential disruption to established practices, well, we are indeed challenged. However, we have always been, and in my view will always remain, an amazingly resilient, adaptive, and f flexible industry ready to take on all the challenges that confront us. So on this positive note, may I wish you a very successful and informative conference and, and enjoy it as well. And thank you again for, to Capital Link for inviting me here. Thank you.